Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on Trousseau's sign. This is the description of the Trousseau's sign. After inflating a cuff above the patient's systolic blood pressure and leaving it inflated for 3 minutes, muscular contraction occurs. This includes flexion of the wrist and MCP joints, hyperextension of the fingers, and flexion of the thumb on the palm. These shows a positive Trousseau's sign. It is often associated with hypocalcemia, which can be due to a few causes, such as hypoparathyroidism, low vitamin D, pseudohypoparathyroidism, and pancreatitis. Another common cause of Trousseau's sign is hyperventilation or respiratory alkalosis. It is also sometimes associated with hypomagnesemia. The mechanism of a positive Trousseau's sign is due to increased neuronal excitability. Let's look at its different causes and their mechanism. For hypocalcemia, Calcium is needed to maintain normal neuronal membrane permeability by acting on, and blocking sodium channels on the neuronal membrane. If extracellular calcium is low, the sodium channels are more permeable. As more sodium enters the cell, the cell becomes less polarized, and is more easily stimulated to reach action potential, causing the muscle contraction to occur. Hence a positive Trousseau's sign. For respiratory alkalosis or hyperventilation, this results in less active ionized calcium which causes an increased excitability. In hyperventilation, the patient blows off carbon dioxide, causing reduced circulating hydrogen ions. The amount of calcium that is free and ionized is heavily dependent on serum pH. When the pH is high, more calcium binds to proteins, making less active calcium available in the extracellular fluid for regular processes, such as blocking sodium channels and maintaining membrane stability. This is how Trousseau's sign occur in these conditions. Next we look at hypomagnesemia, which is low magnesium levels in the body. Magnesium is essential for maintaining ion channels and transporters in excitable tissues. Magnesium influences a number of cellular processes including sodium ATPase activity, blocking potassium channels on cells, as low magnesium allows greater loss of potassium from cells. Low magnesium inhibits parathyroid hormone and can lead to hypocalcemia, which can contribute to tetany and it also affects the calcium ion channel activity, all in all causing the Trousseau's sign to occur. For its sign value, 1-4% to of normal patients will have a positive Trousseau's sign. However, it is more specific than Chivostic's sign for latent tetany and hypocalcemia. Trousseau's sign is present in 94% of patients with hypocalcemia, and in only 1% of persons with normal calcium levels. That's all for this video. Thank you.